Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and parkour is everywhere these days. Ever since uh, James Bond movie brought it to prominence, I just wish to say we've seen it in uh, more and more media, especially in video games. What you see in front of you, this is probably the most successful parkour game out there right now. It is called Mirror's Edge. It is definitely a bit of a cult classic. But by no definition of the word is it alone. Another common uh, game in this space is Titanfall, an amazing series that also has some pretty hardcore parkour action going on as well. So what if you wanted to replicate this style of gameplay, but in the Godot game engine? Well, that is exactly what we are looking at today. This is a, a parkour character game controller for the Godot game engine. It is free and open source, and we're gonna go check it out in action, exactly how it works. You got this nice demo level up, showing you uh, where you can use your mad parkouring skills, which by the way, advance warning, I have none of. So I'm going to proceed now to fall off of buildings and showcase exactly how bad I am at this stuff. All right, so here we see game world, and you can run around in it, you can, Run faster, you can slide here, slide down. Uh, we've got jumping ability over here, so let's go here and we'll do a wall jump. So jump, jump, there we go. Climb this little, whoa, and I fell. But you get an idea, like I said, I am pretty much terrible at this stuff, uh, but that is what this controller is all about. As you saw from the quick splash screen there, this is from a fellow called Underdog. He's actually a bit of a YouTuber. I will showcase his channel in just a second, but this is the project in question. It is technically called the Godot No-Shot Controller. Uh, you can see here it is available under the MIT license on GitHub. Uh, the last release was a while ago, but I'm actually using the build version of it. By the way, they seem to have updated it, so you need to use Godot 4.3. Another major thing to be aware of here is this requires C Sharp. So this project is 95.8% C Sharp code, so you need to use the mono version of it. Uh, they've done a video on how to actually create a 3D parkour game in the past. So features include standard first person movement mechanics, snappy and smooth. You can crouch, sprint, and slide. Support for stairs and steps using Ray Stepper and is written in clear C sharp. Sorry, make that clean C sharp. So very interesting project. Uses Utilizes SDFGI for the global illumination and the lighting. Comes with a post-processing stack. It has motion for a vignette, uh, Blur, radio blurs, lens flare, lens distortion, chromatic aberration, and audio that changes based off the surface that you are currently running on. If you go back to it, the, the heart of this guy right here is actually the player controller. So you go to player right here and you will notice that the player is a script. It is based off of the character body 3D, but it has had um, additional functionality added to it. So you can control all the various different things. So if you wanna uh, walk or run faster, those are all properties available here under movement. Uh, over here, you've got control over your various different animation settings. And then here you've got settings for tilting, crouching, sliding, vaulting, uh, wall running, uh, vertical wall runs, floor settings, uh, and then moving platforms and collision. So everything you need is set in this particular guy right over here. Another thing you'll notice is all of the various different entities in the world, like these different boxes. So let's just actually select one here. You'll notice they all have this tag attached. Uh, that tag in that group is telling what the actual um, surface that you're currently interacting with is. So concrete, metal, tile, water, uh, used for the audio that is rendered and so on. Otherwise, it is a pretty straightforward environment. And again, it is this player control right here, uh, right here, this script that is attached that is doing the heavy lifting. Now this is uh, a C-sharp project. So what you'll find is if you go to the directory for it, uh, you will find a uh, solution file there. We can go ahead and open that guy up. So again, you do need to use the, um, the mono version of Godot and the documentation says Godot 4.2. That is not the case. You actually need to use Godot 4.3. And interestingly enough, you also have to have Blender installed and on the first run, make sure you path it to uh, where your Blender executable is or it will fail as well. So you can see the heart of it is in this guy right here. So this is your player movement control right there. Again, it is inherited from character body 3D and it implements a lot of the functionality that uh, we use in controlling this guy in the world. On top of that, you're going to see all those various different effects were implemented, for example, lens flares uh, and motion blur, etc. 
and also stepping. And, and climbing up steps is actually harder than you actually think. Um, so that is all implemented here as classes, c -sharp classes as well. So everything you want to know about is available here in this scripts folder there. Uh, we've got some um, controls for the state machine for as the character moves between being running, crouching, uh, sliding, and so on. Uh, got tools there for uh, sh shaking of the screen as well. And then, yeah, that's about it. So there's the code. If you want to go ahead and check it out, again, entirely C-sharp based project, uh, but a very cool one. So once again, it is the Godot NoShot controller, a Godot 4.3 project uh, and written primarily in C-sharp. This is from Underdog. Uh, if you're interested, he does have a YouTube channel out there. Uh, doesn't seem to have published much as of late, so his last video was two months ago. Uh, but you've got some details on how he did wall running inside of Godot. If you want to learn more about it, the videos are available right there. So that is it. Uh, if you want to do that whole uh, mirrors edge parkour type movement inside of the Godot game engine, you're using Godot uh, 4.3 and C Sharp. It's an excellent one to check out. If you do like what he's done here, uh, do be sure to uh, toss him a star. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think of this one. It is the Godot No Shot Controller, basically parkour in Godot. Pretty close to drop in ready. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.